All right, this next question comes from Akko C. Nurse 1376. Hopefully I pronounced it right. If not, I apologize. It says, hi, how to set the keyboard to only notes or scale I need? Example, the key of D major. Thank you. So the first thing first, uh, I have audio track up here. I don't need that. I'm going to press delete. And then I'm going to create an instrument track. <sighs> Let's just do the electric piano for right now. Sorry, you all, if you seem like I'm out of breath, it's just because I just got the working out. So I just wanted to, to record this real quick um, to answer this question. I hope you all are feeling well wherever you are today. Once you have your instrument set up, whatever instrument that is, what you want to do is you want to go straight to, the, you can double click and that'll open up the piano roll. And then once you double click, on the right side, you will see the properties for the track or right? you'll see the track information. If you do not see this, then that means that your collapse is enabled. So there's little tiny arrows all the way to the right side of the top corner uh, that you can click and then that'll expand it to open it back up. The next thing is there's a filter here that is like a track filter. And sometimes when that's clicked, you'll see the track disappear. Uh, if I want to go about changing this to a specific key, then I'm going to right click and make sure you have enable disable snack snap to. Uh. All right. And now what I want to do is I want to right click and I want to click on enable snap to scale. OK, because it's disabled originally. All right. So you're going to notice that now some notes are grayed out and some notes are in white. The notes that are grayed out are the notes that you cannot choose. Right, but I can change what key I want this to be. I can right click and I can go to a root note. I set it to D and then I can right click again and then I can go to a scale. All right, I can do diatonic scales for the different modes. I can do melodic minor. I can do the harmonic minor, harmonic minor chromatic, pentatonic scales, symmetrical scales, exotic scales. This might be really cool if you really want to go for something like that. Uh, or you can customize your own scales and then you could do snap settings. Um, so you could say, oh, yeah, I wanted to adjust to the next higher note or to adjust to a previous lower note or just to the nearest note. OK. So in this case, um, I'm just going to keep it for the nearest note. So when I, I get ready to plug in notes, now this is not going to work for me recording in because like if I use the virtual controller, um, which I, you know, made a video about, you know, several videos about how to use that to record. Uh, normally, that's going to use the keyboard that's on there. And it's going to be associated with whatever notes chromatically are within the keyboard, basically. So it's not going to help you here. But you can always edit it later on or drag a pitch down. But this is good if you wanted to actually like program, I, that's what I call it are basically dropping in stuff. So uh, I can do D, right? So D is right here. Or I can go down to a lower octave. And you'll notice that when I put a note in, let's make sure I'm rolled back. So I'll put D, all right? And then you'll notice that, oh, let me put E flat in. But when I put E flat in, I clicked on E flat, but it went to the nearest note, which is E, all right? So then I'll do F and that'll go to F sharp and then that'll go vice versa. And I could just keep clicking. All right. Minimize this sum and All right. That's one cool way to do about that. This comes in handy if you're dealing with chords and maybe you're a person um, that don't really know how to play chords, then you can just, I didn't mean to do that. You can actually just, you know, put the chords in and then on any other type of track, like any type of MIDI track, there should be some type of MIDI data or just make sure that you have MIDI period. So this does not work on audio tracks, but if you go to MIDI there, you will see an option on the track um, inspector at the very bottom, you'll see MIDI. All right. And then when you click on MIDI, you'll see the same thing. Uh, snap to scale. It's disabled when I enable it. Then I can set it to C, or maybe I want to set it to E. And then let's say I want to do an exact scale. Let's do Egyptian one, all right? 
once you have the Egyptian scale set, then you can definitely go back to the same thing. Now, this only does work for piano roll, so um, you won't be able to use it on any other functions. But And then if you want to, like I said, you have it set. It's already set to E and the scale is set to exotic. Now, say I did not like the way that this looks. Like, say I wanted my snap to look a little different. Well, you can simply go to edit, go to preferences, colors under customization, and then do a search for snap. And you will see snap to scale, right? Then I can change that color. Like if I want to do like a darker color, like uh, maybe that color right there. And then let's try that, close it. And now when I go back, all right, you can see it looks, and that really looks really crazy actually. But uh, you get the idea, like this will help you be able to see exactly where you're putting everything at. And then let's say, let's put some chords in. So let's say uh, this is G, it's gonna go to G sharp, all right? And then let's do that. Hear that chord. So we got B, we got D, we got E, we got G sharp, and then we got B on top. Say so if I like that chord, I can take it, I can copy it, hold down control, drag it, and then let's drag it up a step. All right, so let's drag it right there. Okay, and then let's say if I want to do it again, I can hold control. Go down some more. All right. Maybe I wanted this to hold a little longer. All right. Okay. Now I'm not listening to a metronome right now, so I don't really know what it sounds like. Uh, say, for instance, I wanted to hear certain chords. I can hold J. And then I can just click. This is a good way to preview all the chords or whatever notes that you input in case you did something that you really didn't like. All right, uh, I do not like this color, so I'm gonna go back and change it again. But um, this is just a cool way to go about using that. So I hope this answered your question. If you like videos like this, definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting a whole lot of videos in July. So I got a lot of cakewalk videos coming up, a lot of stuff I need to explore. Also, I'm going to be start making more videos for BandLab in preparation of the new software that are getting ready to come out, Cakewalk Next and Cakewalk Sonar is returning. So expect as soon as any of those drop, I'm definitely going to get them and I'm definitely going to make videos for all of them. Uh, I'm going to try to saturate YouTube with as many videos about Cakewalk and the brand of Cakewalk, period. Uh, so anyway, you all take care. Love you. Bye-bye.